Madison, uh, 3460 Derbyshire Drive. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. I'm the parent of a first grader at Norwich Elementary. I'm also a teacher of writing in the Department of Engineering Education at Ohio State University. As both an educator and a researcher, I'd like to express my concern about the rationale being presented for the campus model for the elementary school. In the email sent to Norwich parents on January 28th, and in a meeting at Norwich on January 30th, we were told the model will better respond to students' quote, emotional, developmental, and academic needs. Dr. Marshausen told us in his blog post from February 5th that the part of the intent is to quote, capitalize on teacher scale and maximize and balance class sizes, serve both gifted and special education students better, and better personalize opportunities for students. While these outcomes sound appealing, we have yet to receive evidence that this campus model creates these benefits. In what ways can it capitalize on teacher scale? Teachers within a grade might collaborate, but how will a second grade teacher communicate about a particular student's need to their third grade teacher if they have to walk across the campus or write an email to do so? In what ways will a campus model better serve gifted and special education students? We are, quote, that we are told that details will be ironed out in the coming year, but aren't these details the foundation of a reason for making a change like this? We are able to locate research that points to the problems that arise when all students have to switch schools frequently and are grouped primarily within their own ages. But we have not been provided evidence that this model is in the best interest of our children and our community. If we partner with educational experts like OSU and Columbus State, why not work with them to articulate for us the evidence of benefits that come with this model and how you plan to address the issues that research shows us will come with this transition. Our community deserves this explanation and more opportunity to be involved in making a decision like this. In my writing classes, I tell students that to persuade people, they must first achieve credibility by referencing reliable and credible sources. That basic foundation of persuasion has been missing in communications from the district to the community about this transition. I also tell my students they must choose the appropriate time to introduce their position, which begs the question, why not ask for community input on such a major change earlier? Why has this change been proposed at this time and in this way? Why have we been left in the dark, and why are we being asked to accept this change without question? Rather than dismiss these legitimate, rational concerns as emotional, we expect the district to stop progress on this transition until evidence of its benefits can be clearly articulated. I said some of this in a letter earlier in the week, and I just have a, the same letter with a few more signatures I'd like to give you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.